there, Postal here. So today we're going to be trying to get ourselves the second to last mission for the JU87 D-5, the Stuka. We're taking out the Key 102, mainly because I haven't flown it in a while. Uh, you know, I have not the most planes in the world. Uh, I know there are quite a few people out there that have more than I have. But of the 240 planes I do have, it, it makes it so that... Um, what am I doing? I've got a mission. It makes it so that there's a lot of planes that I just don't get a chance to play all that often because other planes are the, you know, flavor of the month. Uh, people are requesting other things. So when I was looking through my plane collection saying, well, what did I, what was going to be good at taking on ground attackers? I thought, you know what, maybe the Key 102. Um, really, really good tier 6 heavy fighter, right? used to frustrate a lot of people actually because it was so maneuverable back in back in the halcyon days of pre um, you know pre XP 54 people would complain about how maneuverable this was but it wasn't overpowered like the XP 54 um, it was just you know you had to think when trying to counter it and people didn't like that so Let's see what we can do here. We're just trying to look around. There's a ground attacker down below us. So we want to go ahead and see what we can do to get him knocked out. We can't leave ourselves completely open and defenseless, though. So let's go ahead and perfect. We've taken this sector, which is great. That means we don't have to worry about anti-aircraft anymore. Um, we don't have to worry about air defense aircraft either. So while I'm doing this, where's the other GA? He's got to be over at the command center, uh, the garrison, excuse me, that they just took over because he's not seen anywhere else. That was a bad turn. That was a really bad turn on my part. I turned too tight. There we go. Cool. So where is his GA? He's got to be over here, right? I assume... Still looking around. So what I don't like about the, this mission specifically is you've got to guesstimate a, a lot of different things. Yeah, there he is. It's taking forever to get over here. But you can't just go after them, right? Because you just go after them, you're going to leave yourself wide open to all kinds of ridiculous that you don't want to have to deal with. There we go. Got two of them. The other thing is, something that I always get caught on um, with this mission is you have to kill at least four ground attackers before squall line, right? Because once squall line happens, they don't respawn, and you're only going to get two, two at that point. So what happens with me sometimes is I will have three kills, and then squall line will happen, and then I'm kind of SOL, right? Um, I don't like that. Can I get this knocked out with my cannon? No. Guess I did. I did with my freaking fire. Bomb that. Cool. Here comes a... Corsair. Can we... He's turning away. What is he doing? I'm not moving nearly as fast as I thought I was. Cool. Alright, so... Oh, the Grand Attackers are on the complete opposite. I forgot this has... I think I just screwed this all up. I forgot that they can spawn over here. I was expecting them to spawn here. I'm an idiot. So, they're both going over here. Like, literally the complete opposite side of the... Dang it. Alright, um... It's not inbound on me. There's a bomber way up there. Aha! Good. Thank you, ground attacker, for coming this way. So we're at two so far. We need to definitely be paying attention to that. In fact, I kind of hope they capture this, so that way the game will make sure that it lasts long enough for me to be able to... Cool. I killed him and they captured it. I guess that's a win. Let's head over to the garrison here and see if we can't... get this other GA. Remember, we can't just, like, 
blindly go after the ground attackers, right? We'll get ourselves killed. I mean, that's the end of the world as far as the match is concerned. It is the end of the world as far as the missions are concerned because it's going to take you so long to respawn and get where you need to get that death is not a good thing. So we've got three. Now we've got four. Now I feel pretty darn comfortable. We are not halfway through, but it could could turn pretty quickly if they get hair supremacy. Now that now that I've been okay with them um, capturing sectors, now it might turn around and bite us. So we need to get a sector ASAP. See if I can't knock out these fighters real quick. Cool. That 57 millimeter cannon certainly uh, puts a hurting on people, doesn't it? Heavy fighter behind me. I know it. Uh, I just wanted to kill that guy so that way I could kill that guy. Got our wing knocked out, that's fine. Ground attacker's up here. Where's the other GA? That's not a GA, is it? I don't even know what the hell that is. Hang in there. You'll soon be cut off from support. I say again, support will not be available. Oh, goodness. We're gonna miss out on this simply because... Where is my team? I've got a team, right? I swear to God, I've got a team. what they tell me anyway oh, I'm in a lot of trouble here I'm in a lot of trouble here can I oh now there's a squall line holy crap I'm in so much trouble here that's what I get for saying I'm feeling pretty comfortable and the problem is see how low health that GA is if somebody else kills him Whew. He doesn't respawn. I need to kill this last ground attacker. This would be the sixth kill. And nobody else can kill him. But on top of that, I can't die to that guy. So it's like... What am I doing with my life here? Okay, cool. There, got the six kills, but now we need to try to get the win. Is that even possible at this point? On 27 HP, can I get some HP back? Can I get some wrench? 37 HP. Okay. Gonna be all about the 57 millimeter cannon. And it's job doing stuff like that. There we go. Holy cow, I do not recommend doing that. My freaking brain hurts. Um, I got so many things in the center. Okay, cool. We got the center anyway, though. really don't like I don't like what we're doing here I don't like the situation I don't like my health although it's better than what it was come on cannon and that 57 millimeter cannon is slow as hell there we go Okay, we're on pace to win now that we're up four sectors to one. Can I get some health while I'm over here? That would be super swell. Oh, no. Pneumatic control assist for the win. Yes. Ha, ha, ha. How the turntables have turned.
He's pulling me out of the sector, though. Well, I'm just going to keep on moving. Got an ace? What? Alright, uh, let's keep moving here. Excellent, where is this other guy? Alright, cool. So we don't need to get our HP. What we just need to do is get this guy killed. Uh, and take a sip of coffee. No sip of coffee. Oh man. Oh man. That was such a good game. Oh man. Um that's all you got to do to get 6 ground attack kills. Um this obviously spiraled out of control into a much more uh impactful battle. But that's my thought process on trying to get six ground attackers. Is you got to think of where are they going to be, where are they going to spawn. I screwed up, so this could have been easier, but content. <laughs> Let's go back. All right. Uh, yes, yeah, Spartacus, definitely. All right, so uh, 21 air kills there, six ground attackers. That's the important part, right? And so. My recommendation is you want to be in a plane that you're comfortable in. You want to be a plane um, in a plane that, that you're not you know, forced out of your comfort zone. Uh, you definitely want to be in a relatively fast plane because it doesn't do the fastest thing on the battlefield, but it needs to be fast enough to get where you need to be. This was a prime example. I was planning on just camping out of that garrison and let them keep spawning and coming to the garrison not paying attention not you know recognizing that of course they can spawn at the freaking air bases right so i'm an idiot i was able to get over there though take advantage of that get the six that i was needed that was really stressful though um it was stressful it was stressful for the win obviously but the win is inconsequential when you're trying to get these missions the, the mission itself was stressful, and, and part of it very often is, after Squall Line, if you still need more kills, and a friendly kills that ground attacker, you're SOL, right? Because it's not going to respawn. And so that, that was the most stressful part right there, is when I'm staring at that ground attacker with no health, and, the fi and I see the, the friendly fighter turning around to get its guns on target, I'm like, no! Um, you know, what are you going to do when that happens? Uh, you probably won't see me post a video about it because I'll rage. All right, so we got 18,000 personal points there. Uh, did a little bit of everything. I was making sure to drop my bombs. Key 102's got bombs. Use them. Uh, very, very solid and, and pretty well regarded tier 6 heavy fighter. Um, I posted a video on this a long time ago on all three uh, of the tech tree heavy fighters. Three? Four, excuse me. Um, on how good all four of them really are. And it still holds true to this day, even with the current meta. Anyway, so now I've got to move on to the Golubev. Uh, that's going to be a fun one, right? Always a fun one. All right, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.